Okay, with that, let's get into the meat of the day. Let's go over um, kind of an overview of scenario planning. Uh, what is it and, and why use it? It was, uh, you know, it was originally developed uh, by the Army back in World War II, but really put into, uh, you know, commercial practice, I would say, from Shell. You know, so Shell Oil Company is very famous for its scenario plans, and we're going to use um, their work as our example for today. Um, the gentleman's name is Pierre Wack, who really was a pioneer in, um, in moving uh, this into a, a usable, you know, scenario planning into a usable uh, realm for businesses. So his approach is that it's not about trying to solidify uncertainties. More importantly, it's about isolating certainties. So it's a little bit of a shift, but that was really his approach. So it's a tool to isolate uncertainty. It's, excuse me, it's a tool to isolate certainties, to ask the what ifs and rehearse. Uh, how you might respond, and to build confidence that your decisions are the best one based on moving from uncertainty to certainty. So really, that's, that's the point. Um, a lot of um, uh, pitfalls, I think, in scenario planning is that it is sometimes seen as an external or a, a, a set-aside exercise from your strategic planning exercises. And I want to share with you at the end of the presentation how we bring the work from your scenario planning back into your strat plan, back into your strategic plan so that it's not this esoteric exercise. And that's really, really important. And that's what that last point on the slide is intended to articulate is to say it is about um, going through a mental exercise that's validated by external research that you then update and make decisions based on um, and modify your, your strategy accordingly. So, um, so with that in mind, that's what scenario plan is. It's about isolating certainty. So when should we use it? I've mentioned this a couple times, but let's just be really, really clear about this. You might use it when you're actually reimagining your vision. So sometimes we go through a visioning exercise and we've done so on the strategy huddle where you know it's a collective conversation, uh, it's a group discussion with leaders and managers, and then we come to some sort of consensus about what the future might look like. A different way to go about that would be to go through the scenario planning process to figure out where you should be strategically positioned in um, you know, in the future state that you've just gone through in your scenario planning exercises, and then that generates your, your future state in your vision. So a little bit a little bit more targeted in that regard. Um, you know, perhaps if you're starting from scratch and you want a robust way to, to develop your strategic direction, that's a, another uh, reason to use scenario planning. Um, it's a it's a great strategic plan, a strategic thinking exercise to get your team, you know, thinking outside of the box. And then, most importantly, and that's really what we're getting at today, to help us uh, update our strategy. That's sort of an added point on this slide, as well as potentially develop many action plans for short-term risks. So that's when to use it. We're really going to focus on that last point and the point that I made about the fact that we're going to, to use it to update our strategic plan to ensure that we have a solid, uh, a solid uh, go forward path um, and, and, and to, uh, uncovering the certainty so we know where we will find ourselves at least with a little more clarity over the next three to five years when everything seems to be kind of, you know, unraveling a little bit.